In this case, of course, the, the, the image is at least sufficiently true for you to get good information about the specimen, and phase contrast has been wonderfully useful in the study of living cells, for example. I could show you, and will now, an example where the image appears to be a little bit less true. I'll go back to the illuminating pinhole there and move to another grating which we have on the slide. It consists of a sort of chessboard of little holes. They repeat left and right as did the lines on the other grating we saw, but of course they also repeat up and down. So we see here a two-dimensional diffraction pattern. What you see there is just the bottom half of it and there should be a similar half off the top of the screen, but we're not looking at it. This gives me a chance to put in my little slit again into the objective. And if I do that, I can allow just that much of the diffraction pattern to pass through and to form the image. You've seen a diffraction pattern like that before and are probably able to deduce what the image must be. It's reasonably common knowledge that it's possible to deduce images from diffraction patterns. This is done in electron diffraction. It was very famously done using X-ray diffraction, working out the structure of DNA from diffraction patterns. And here, to take a very simple example, we can deduce the image from that diffraction pattern there. I'll reveal it. There we see that the image that comes from that diffraction pattern must be a series of vertical lines, even though the object is both horizontal and vertically arrayed spots, that image is vertical lines. I can twist this round to give an image of horizontal lines or diagonal lines of various kinds in between. So you see, you get the image that depends on those parts of the diffraction pattern that you built the image from. Normally, you don't indulge in tricks like this. Normally, the image is built from as much of the diffraction pattern as can get through the aperture of the objective. That isn't, of course, ever the whole diffraction pattern, but it's as much as the aperture of the objective will permit.